Okay, let's start the show. All right, welcome back to Jack Gamenson. We gotta fucking finish up saving the archaeologist from these minions. Look at them all minion-like. <laughs> it was really funny. My parents came out to visit when I lived in Colorado, and uh, my homeboy Hilton was over. Um, can't remember who else. I know I had a, another friend over too. But they were being, like, wild. Not, like, insane, but they were just being, like, silly little buggers or whatever. And my dad's just like, All right, come get your minions. Or, uh, come get your cronies. And I'm just like, Do you really refer to my friends as cronies? Holy crap, that's really funny. Uh, today is, um... Well, by the time this airs, it won't be. But as of recording, it's, uh... National Girlfriend Day. Happy National Girlfriend Day to all the cool girlfriends out there. Um, yeah. Fucking... It's your day. And that's cool. Man, I've been single for two and a half years. Try to keep it that way. I don't know, I just fucking need, need a break. I need fucking time to focus on myself. Granted, I know people will be like, oh, two and a half years, that's plenty of a break. No, 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 no. And again, that ain't a reflection on, like, people. That's a reflection on me. Like, I gotta fucking keep myself together and keep working on thyself. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't fucking feel like getting out there and dating. Yeah, man. Fucking women are pretty and all that shit. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just don't, I don't have a desire. I like doing my own thing right now, man. Working, exercising, playing video game, hanging out with le doggos. Like, I'm, I'm chilling, man. I barely like to go out and hang out with friends anymore, to be honest. I don't know, I just, I like my alone time, man. When I'm not working and not working out, I'm fucking resting, dude. I'm straight up resting, like, I, and I'm fine. I'm totally fine with that. So, whatever. Anyway. The, the gibbet, or gibbet woods? Um. This place scares the, or it used to scare the crap out of me. It's not like dark woods scary, it's just like eerie, you know? Um. But yeah, I gotta head to, uh, I gotta head to the fucking graveyard now. And, um, I gotta go go through Headsman's Hill, because that's where they, like, behead people, execute people, all that shit. Hero, yeah, fucking, the northern man. section of Bowerstone is just creepy. Yeah, you see, I cannot open that demon door. The only way you can open that demon door is if you actually pursue Lady Grey's, like, romance, um, and you fight Thunder in there, and then it, like, unlocks after the fight so yeah if you don't do that you miss out on a demon door and a silver key and i think a silver chest too but hey whatever you i don't know, care well because the thing is too if you romance lady gray if you like marry her and shit and then you uh um do the quest to like expose her She'll encounter you in the gray house, and she'll just be like, Oh, what are you doing? Give that to me. And we won't speak about this. Something on the line of that. Like, you have no choice. So, it's... I guess, um... Scrappy, stop barking. I'm doing stuff right now. I guess, technically, I could have gotten that demon door and silver key. Uh, before actually marrying her, I could have fought Thunder. But, I mean, it doesn't matter, because if you want to open all the demon doors, you have to marry Lady Grey, because there is a demon door at the Grey House that'll only open if you marry Lady Grey. It's... It's stupid. Somebody... Oh, it's a Discord server. Oh, anyway. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec, guys. To fucking Don't hell. <laughs> I made a post, I was just like, Happy no National Girlfriend Day too, and it's Nothing a fucking picture of me back when I had long black hair and I'm wearing like 
the morning like short shorts and fishnet leggings and the post is just like happy happy national girlfriend day too just kidding it's just a picture of me being a pretty boy and then i'm like but seriously though happy national girlfriend day to all the cool girlfriends out there <laughs> yeah man Cross-dressing's well, fun. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. They fuck, uh... Back when I was in Denver, there was this house show that we got asked to play. And, um... The theme of the... The theme of the house show... House party... Huh. Was Hello. like, uh... uh was cross-dressing? Hey? Hmm? Um... And out in Denver, we place. had, like... A lot of people who... Um, actually came out as trans, so, like, it was kind of cool, because, I mean, there were a lot of trans people there, but I'm sure there were a lot of people, too, who went to cross-dress, but then it kind of, like, like, they felt more comfortable, and they were able to, like, come out later as trans, which was, like, fucking goddammit. Sorry, I was in the middle of talking about, like, uh... Uh, people in Denver coming out as trans and stuff, and my fucking mic cut off, God damn it! Anywho, I, um, I'm a strong supporter of trans rights. Uh, a couple of my best friends are trans, and I got a lot of trans friends, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, no, it was a cross-dressing show, concert, house, show, Jesus, fuck! Wow. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, my band members didn't do it, but, uh... I had my girlfriend at the time do my makeup for me, because I can't fucking do makeup to save my life. And, um, like, I shaved my legs, and I wore, like, one of her mini skirts and shit, and, like, it was hella cool. Because there, there were obviously people who didn't cross-dress. It's not that they, it's not that they fucking, like, were weirded out by it. They just didn't feel like it. Hell, I had a lot of friends who were like, yeah, I don't look good in a mini skirt. And, you know, people were encouraging them to do it anyway. But, hey, some people just don't want to do it, and that's fine. But, yeah, no, that was a fun as fuck show, dude. Um, the band I was in played. And then, um, my other friend's band played. And they were doing Nazi punks fuck off by the Dead Kennedys, and they asked me to hop on and do vocals. And Jesus fucking Christ! And yeah, it was fun, man. That was summer of 2015. That was a that year was very hit or miss, but that was that summer was fun. I miss that girl. I fucked that relationship up. I fucked the majority of my relationships up, and it's not me being like, oh, uh, uh. no, it's just fucking whatever, dude. You get older and. You become more aware of your shitty behavior, and a lot of people still need to fucking work on that. Hell, I have friends who still need to fucking work on that. And, you know, they refuse to acknowledge it, and there's only so much you can do, so whatever. Like, part of the- part of- one of the other reasons why I kind of want to stay single. Like, I- I don't want to say I'm scared of fucking up another relationship, but I mean- I, I can't sit here and be like, oh, next one I'm in, I'm gonna be perfect. No, like, fucking, I want to work on myself some more, dude. There's still plenty of kinks. Dude, I haven't been sober for that fucking long either, so, like, I gotta get past that stage, too. So. Anywho, Litchfield Graveyard. I gotta get the ship for Nostro. Nostro shopping list so I can open the demon door to get to the path that goes to Bargate Prison. I hate this part because these fuckers spawn non-stop. So, next episode, we're gonna get the rest of Nostro shit and then we're gonna open that demon door. So I'll catch y'all next time on Jack Gamonson. See ya!